I awoke, healed from the wounds of yesterday. I'm feeling more blessed than stressed today. I commanded the pain in my chest away. And with the feeling there's still so much left to say, stories await me a fresh array. I gather my papers and nest away. Now I find myself seated before a great lake, reminiscing on life, what it gives, what it takes, while I breathe in the air, living for living's sake. I look out at the blue and recall past mistakes, but they all dissipate like currents and wakes, until they resurface in my chest as an ache. But I've written reminders what to do in this instance. Often the worst remedy is resistance, so I let the pain sit as the lake water glistens. I speak my troubles and the universe listens, I lay out my burdens and state all my wishes. I extend my arms toward the birds and the fishes, and I step across stones aligned on the shore, wondering if I hold the same truth in my core as these boulders or do I mean something more than the diving birds fulfilling their chores or the fish unaware what they're swimming for. Perhaps my role is to simply explore. For in the far future when I myself erode and I'm unliving and withering bones, who's to say I had more purpose than stones? I'll be grateful I was given a lane in the road, for there's nothing I can honestly say I was owed. I'm not steering this ride, but I'm thankful I rode. And when the trip has weathered on my mind and this anxious essence is all I find, I return to my roots, I stay patient and kind. I accept the hurt's presence, but we will not bind. It is invisible, but my heart is not blind. So I step toward peace and leave the ache behind.